Hello everybody, uh, it's Connor Martin here, Assistant Principal of Birchen Park Middle School, and I am putting together this handy dandy nifty tutorial for you so that you better understand portals um, and then so that you can help your child through portals as well as much as possible. Now, before I begin, I should say that when I refer to portals and this particular tutorial, it only refers to utilizing and accessing portals through a computer, not uh, the phone app. And the reason is this, whatever functionality that I have with portals, it, it does not extend to the app. So if you can't sign into the app or if something looks wrong on the app, there's nothing that I can do to, to help you out. So I try to refer everyone to use the, um, the web-based version of of portals um, because if there's ever a um, uh, like a visibility issue or if there is a sign-in issue these things I can help you with um, but we have seen before in the past that if there is um, if someone's trying to access it through the app um, and they can uh, access it simultaneously on the computer um, I, I, I always try to recommend them use the computer so I mean if you can't sign in through the app I, I can't help you with it. So um, please use the, the, the computer-based version of portals. Um, that, that's, my, um, that's my disclaimer up front. Okay, so at this point, you all should have received a uh, activation code for portals. And um, now I'm gonna show you what, what it looks like to log into portals and how to navigate uh, throughout portals. So you know, just go to Google Chrome or whatever, um, whatever, um, browser you are comfortable with. Now the first thing is I just want to specify the particular um, address to access our portals and it is plusportals.com backslash BPMS and that's important because if you were to go to Google and try and access it that way if you were to type in plus portals in the hopes that it will just bring you where you need to go um, it, it might not. So if you look down here, um, you know, you see just a link, you click on it, hope, hoping that it will bring you to our plus portals. It won't because as you can see, you know, this isn't our school. So it's important to know which portals um, is our portals and we are plusportals.com backslash BPMS. Okay, so it brings us here. All right. Um, and this is our, our launch page. So I'm gonna log in as a fake student so you can see what it looks like on the students' ends of things and this is what it will look like for you as well. Okay. All right. Um, so right now, um, this particular student, this fake student, has only been scheduled to two courses, this one and this one. But in your child's schedule, you will see all of the classes um, down uh, this column here. Um, so this is really the way that you will get into all of your child's classes. There's a couple other ways, but this is the, the easiest way. Over in this box, this is where you will see um, in all of the classes what the most recent scores are. So, um, you know, there's a couple ways of doing this. You can, you can go into each um, teacher's uh, class and then click on the grades and see how they're doing there. Um, but to um, really help you out in, in, in terms of time, time management, the, the most recent grades, the most recent like homework assignment, um, the most recent classwork assignment, whether it was a quiz and social studies class or math class, it doesn't matter, whatever the recent scores are, they're gonna populate in this box here. Um, down here in coursework, um, this is where you'll see coursework in, again, in all classes popping up. If there's, ever, if there's any um, important school links and files, it'll pop up here. And then um, down here we have just the, the, the school calendar. Um, this, this is the, the big uh, events that are occurring school-wide 
um, and I manage this calendar so it, it gets sent out to, to everybody. If there's ever a notification or an alert that the students need to know about, it will go here. And again, um, very similarly, um, any school announcements will go in this box. So these are the different boxes that show up um, when you first log in to PLOS Portals. So if we were to go into one of the, the classes, um, let, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so it takes you to a new page. Um, this is a link to my advisory. Um, and I haven't set anything up yet, but the teachers use this box a little bit differently. Sometimes it's a syllabus for the entire year. Sometimes it will look like a um, an overview of a particular unit or a week. Um, but it, it will be some sort of guiding information to walk both you and your child through a course of study. Right. Um, I'll be honest, this is new. Uh, online meetings, so I, I can't really speak to that. But under my particular class and the different classes that you'll see, again, you have um, coursework that's indicated here. So this is a good way for you to um, just check to see what uh, your child has been working on in particular class. Um, if there's any announcements for that particular class, if there are any links um, or files that need to be downloaded or clicked on um, to assist with the learning for that particular class. Um, then if you're to click on performance, okay, so right now, again, this is unfortunate because there, there's no data populated anywhere, but um, if this was not just um, like a fake account and this actually was assigned to, to classes, here you would start to see um, how the student is is doing across the the board um, first term second term third term um, final term um, so we can see those there um, so that's just kind of an overview the the large um, the, the 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 large uh, picture down here however this is where I would be focusing on um, with my child I'd be looking just to see what the scores are um, for each of the assignments that he or she is is turning in. This really gives me a snapshot how the learning um, is going on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, and then again, here are scores that are being posted. Um, so just different ways of, of being able to access what uh, your student um, is doing. And then with progress reports, uh, multiple times throughout the, the term, we ask our teachers to push out progress reports. That really gives a snapshot um, how the child is, is doing, um, and it breaks it down for you. Um, what, what is missing, what areas need to be worked on. Um, and so that would be indicated here. So you'll hear from Mr. Allen or myself about when to check for progress reports, but that's where you would find them. You'd go into classroom and then click on this tab progress reports and then you would see the progress report by that particular teacher and then here if you go to school you can just see the um, the schedule and what that looks like um, you'd be able to see the report uh, the report card attendance um, and just the the important information um, again this is a a dummy account, um, but it would have your information here. And so if you were to click on demographics and see if there's something missing, then, um, you know, you could let us know and we could, uh, you know, make the necessary change. So that's just a, a good um, safety net that, that we have. Okay, so that that is really the, the long and the short of um, portals in a nutshell. Um, those are the most important features. And again, I apologize because this is... Um, it's not really populated with much information, um, but if you were to just um, follow this tutorial once the school year actually is running, it will make a lot of sense because then you will see where all the information is. A couple, a couple other features that um, you, you, you might like to utilize is emailing and messages. This is a, uh, another way this is linked to uh, the student's uh, Gmail accounts. So, um, you know, if you know, you wanted to, uh, if your child wanted to send an email 
um, they can choose which teacher to send an email to, for instance, um, and shoot it out that way. Or obviously they can just use their, their, um, their Google. Um, but th those are the biggest features of, of Portal and um, using the portals. I hope this helps. And if at any point you're having any sort of technological issues, uh, just reach out to me at connor.martin at eastlongmeadowma.gov um, and I can help you out there. So don't be a stranger. Let me know if there's any issues. And I hope that this helps somewhat.